Let's go live to Ottawa right now, where federal conservative leader Pierre Polyev is speaking to reporters. You don't know what box it's in, so we can't get you your Dodge Ram back. And it just so happens I have a solution for that, which is that we should have scanners that allow us to look into the boxes to figure out what's there. Now, Trudeau spent the money on consultants. I'm going to spend it on scanners and the 75 border officers so that we can open the right box and Mr. Roos can get back his 2021 Dodge Ram. That's a common sense solution. So that's what we need, common sense, to repair the damage that Trudeau has caused after eight years. He's not worth the cost. He's not worth the crime. But when I'm prime minister, we're going to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime. Mr. 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 Do you support age restrictions for puberty blockers and hormone therapies for trans kids? Um, I think that uh, Justin Trudeau is trying to divide and distract Canadians by spreading disinformation about uh, the decisions that premiers and parents are making. I want to know you, I want to know what do you think? What do you think? I want to know your position. What is your own party policy? It's your own party policy. A party convention. I think we should protect the rights of parents to make their own decisions. What does it mean? With regards to their children. And I believe that adults should have the freedom to make any decision they want about their bodies. But minor children have surgeries think, and medical interventions for minors, as your own party members suggested. Medical sir. interventions like what? The, that, it, that is the language that your party What medical used. interventions? Well, you have to ask your party members. What medical such interventions? As medical, uh, such as puberty blockers and hormone replacement. For minors? Yeah. Yes. Irreversible? You're talking about irreversible? I, 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 I want to like to understand your position. No, I want to be, want to be clear. I want to be clear. I want to be clear. Puberty blockers for minors? Yes. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? I think that we should protect children what and their ability mean? to make adult decisions when they are adults. So you think, think only adults, think only adults, only adults should make, yes, just, oh, you said yes? Just, just to be clear, you said yes, only adults should take puberty blockers? I think we should protect children, let them make adult decisions when they become adults. So that's so you, you, support you, support age age you, don't, you are against puberty blockers for kids under the age of 18. Is that, is that yes. unclear? Okay. okay. What about, can I ask you about, um, uh, in Alberta, By the way, I just want to make another comment on this. Justin Trudeau is again puffing out his chest, trying to divide Canadians and attack parents who are trying to protect their kids. He will, in the end, back down on this, just like he had to back down on his firearms policy, just like he had to back down on bringing in medical assistance and dying for people suffering from mental illness, just like he's backing down again and again and again. He will back down on this because he is not interested in protecting kids. He's interested in using this as a divisive wedge to distract from doubling housing costs and quadrupling carbon taxes on our people. But for you, for you, you're, 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 so you're against puberty blockers for kids under yes. the age of 18. Hey, what about opting yes, in? What about parents in Alberta having to opt in for sex ed? Where do you Every stand on that? No, that's, that's, that's a decision for the province. No, but what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? a question on Ukraine, please. There is a measured decline in support for the war in Ukraine, especially among your voters. What is your message to them, specifically them, to convince them that Canada must remain on side? My message is that we have to defend against countries that are mercilessly invaded by aggressive powers uh, so that we dissuade dictators from this kind of aggression. And, uh, you know, I would say that uh, Justin Trudeau has done absolutely nothing on this file except divide Canadians. He deliberately divides on the subject by inserting a carbon tax in a trade amendment that has no place there. And, uh, Canadians are against the carbon tax. I'm against the carbon tax. He, Trudeau never should have tried to divide Canadians on Ukraine Will you tear by the forcing the carbon tax into that agreement. Oh. Last well, question. Well, 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 Quebec demande à ce que le code criminel soit modifié. Quebec is asking to modify the criminal code to allow medical assistance in dying. As a conservative government, would you authorize that change in the code criminal to allow for these early requests? I will need to study the issue specifically. My assistance is that MAID is not appropriate for depression or drug addiction. I think that the Trudeau government has gone too far by proposing medical assistance in dying for depression.
and for other mental health problems such as drug addiction. The specific issue that you're talking about, I will need to review that. You've been watching Conservative leader Pierre Poilievre speak before going into caucus. Uh, Wide-ranging subjects. One of the things he was asked about was the transgender policy in Alberta. He says that children should be protected we have as, as they choose. And as for the sex ed, where you have to opt in, and that's what's being suggested, he says that is up to the provinces to make those. Also mentioning talking about made and it being suspended when it came. They were talking about uh, adding in mental health as a reason for made medically assisted dying. Uh, he says that's gone too far and it needs to be reviewed. We'll be back in a moment. By Justin Trudeau, not by my supporters. Why did he do that? No, but I'm just curious. Can you explain to me why there is a carbon tax in the agreement? No, but the question is why. No, no, I asked you, ask you a question. You, you keep you keep asking we with the agreement. Well, we're the journalists. Why, 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 why can't ask, ask the question? Yeah, I, I have the freedom to ask questions if I want to, and I've just answered. I've been answering your questions all, right, all week. All right, here's another one. So, no, no. The government's introducing why would an investment a carbon tax credit. No, you're not changing the subject. I know you want to change the subject. No, I want to ask because you don't want to talk about Trudeau's carbon tax. You I want to ask a question because no. in a democracy we Sorry. ask the question and you answer. I, and I'll, I decide the answer I give. And the yes, answer and the answer is this: we will axe the tax. And Trudeau can try to divide Canadians by putting a carbon tax and a free trade ag agreement that we already had for years. It won't change a thing. It's misleading. Because I will axe the tax, and I will axe the tax with delight and with passion and with incredible speed. So when I'm Prime Minister, you will be shocked at the speed with which I will axe the tax. And the Canadian people will be able to look up at the gas stations and see the prices coming down. And Trudeau can try to distract from his hated carbon tax by putting it in a free trade amendment to a pre-existing agreement. It won't stop me because I will axe the tax, I will axe the tax, and I will ask the tax. Thank you. you. But not on industrial emissions. We've been listening to Conservative leader Pierre Polyev speaking to uh, reporters on a number of issues on Parliament Hill.